Coyotes typically are not dangerous to people in cities at all. And if we were to do everything that we could then we would have coyote populations in cities that are maintaining their natural wariness of us. They don't want to run into us, we're scary to them. And that's kind of what we want to maintain. When people intentionally feed coyotes, that will lead into more boldness. Sometimes it can morph into what happened with Carl the Coyote in 2021 in Golden Gate Park, who had been illegally hand-fed by someone for years, and when she passed away, he started developing these predatory behaviors toward toddlers. And so he actually was coming really close to young kids and trying to bite them. And he was almost successful several times and he had to be lethally removed. A fed coyote is a dead coyote. The ways that we can really take a stand in coexisting with urban carnivores is by making sure that our trash and our compost are secured, that you have your dog on a leash in green spaces, except for in, of course, these areas that are designated as off-leash areas. And it's best to keep cats indoors. Then the last thing I want to say is there's some evidence out there that shows that non-lethal hazing, so acting big and loud and saying, go away coyote, or shaking a can of coins, they actually exit the area completely while you're hazing them. So don't haze until they stop walking, haze until they're gone, and really sort of take that power back for yourself in a moment that maybe you could otherwise, you could otherwise be feeling really vulnerable, and maybe you'll also influence coyote behavior in a positive way. Coyotes are part of the ecosystem. They are basically the ones that are out there controlling our rodent populations and losing them is something that would really hurt the ecosystem.